us, right? You're able to observe it. So once you realize who you are, what you gotta do? Step on this side and teach your people. The kingdom of God is within you. You, you, you. Once you wake up and teach your people, the kingdom will come. No more do we have to get gunned down. No more do women have to be raped. No more do we have to hate each other. Y'all gotta see that. Stop saying, I want change. Do it. Everybody ain't gonna make it, brother. One third. One third of our people will make it. Two thirds will perish here in Babylon. Don't tell you nothing different, bitch. We are the prophets of the Most High. Chapter 28, verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Your son and your daughter shall be given unto another people. Anyone that know history, anyone that know uh, black, so-called black history, they will tell you what happened to us during uh, uh, slavery time. Right. When you have a son and daughter, what did they do to them? They, they will go ahead and give your young ones at the age three, four, as long as they can walk, they put them in the cotton field. Your sons and your daughter will be giving to another stranger to go use them for, for, for bondage. Move on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Did we have power to save our children? No. Because we were ourselves, we were in space. We couldn't do anything. Our history is in this book. It's in this Bible. Right. Until we learn who we are, we will continue being what they call us today, niggas. Until we learn who we are, then we will no longer, we, we will bring fears upon them. Move on. Uh, give, me, give me verse uh, uh, 37. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shall become an, an, become an astonishment. How will we become an astonishment? All the other countries that look at us with an amazement. What's sad about it, they know who you are. We don't. They're making fun of us, seeing how we are killing one another. Right. Robbing one another. Raping one another. We're doing that to our own people. Until we realize that, we will remain on amazement in their eyes. Right. We don't. A proverb. A proverb. A proverb is a wise saying. Blacks. If you want to hide something from them, put it in a book. That is well known. Saying blacks always late. We never take things. These are proverbs. We don't. And a byword. A byword is calling you out of your name. We will be called everything under the earth. Right. They call you niggas. They call you blacks, African American, Afro American. Every 10 years. You got a different nationality. That's right. That's right. Who else went through this but us? We got to learn our history, man, so we can get out of this situation, man. For real. Uh, continue. Among all nations. Among all nations. And it's not just America that give us those names. You got to, uh, 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 Europe. I guarantee you they're going to call you the same thing. You go to um, the Arab country in the Middle East, so-called Middle East. They will give you the same name. That shows you that this Bible is a true book. Right. Uh, jump to verse 45. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee. Again, it's emphasizing the Bible is repeating itself over and over. It says, moreover, all these curses will fall upon you. Read, read on. And shall pursue thee. And he will pursue thee, uh-huh. And overtake thee. Uh-huh. Till thou be destroyed. Uh-huh, read on. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice 
of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't listen to what he says. All these curses will come upon us and overtake us. Read on. To keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. But they is those curses. These curses will be upon you for a sign and for a wonder. A sign is whenever you see them with these curses, specific curses, that's Israel. Uh, it's telling you that the, the town that you're going to be living will be a cursed city. Anytime you see a ghetto area, those are the children of Israel. Because that's the sign. Wonder. We are wonder everything, saints. We are Egyptians. We are uh, Africans. We are, uh, 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 what are some of those names they use? I am half, uh, I'm half European. They find everything but their true nationality. Read on. And upon thy seed forever. It shows you that those curses will be upon your seed forever. It won't stop. And that be passed on from generation to generation. We've been in this situation for over 400 years. Read on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Now, it just tells us why we fell in that situation. Because when we had those laws and statutes, we didn't keep them with joyfulness and gladness of heart. We say that the Sabbath is too hard to keep. When God says his commandments are not grievous, right. we find it grievous for ourselves. It's hard to wear a skirt. We rather wear pants. Follow the traditions of the other nations. Right. And God is destroying us for that. Right. And we need to repent and change our ways. So God will have mercy upon us. Read on. For the abundance of all things. Jump to verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. God said, because you didn't want to keep my commandments with joyfulness and gladness of heart, I'm going to send those enemies against you. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger uh -huh. and in birth uh -huh. and in nakedness. Starting from slavery, you need water. You gotta go to your enemies. You need clothes. They gotta, they gotta uh, uh, put clothes on you. They gotta be the one to feed you. Those start from slavery. Now, let's do a hundred years later. Uh, you have now the drink that we have still the same thing. We gotta go through them because we pay for those waters. You don't pay for your water, they close it. Your water bill, and then you, you, the same thing for your clothes. We don't, we don't have no factory that, that have our own clothes line. They own those things. The food that we eat, it's not our own. We got to go to them to buy food from them. The same curse still remains here today. And all God is asking for you is to repent. That's right. And come back to him. Right. We don't. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Now watch this. Who did you know? God went to slavery and had a yoke of iron upon his neck. According to history, who went through this to show you that this book is a true book? You don't want to waste your time thinking that you have tomorrow. Change while you can. Right. Come back to the Most High God and right. start applying God's commandment as the children of God. Right. Jump to verse 68. No, do verse 64 first. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64 And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people God says he will scatter us among all people Aren't we scattered all over? Think about it Right In South America North America The islands We are in Europe We are in Africa We are in Asia We are everywhere That's right We scattered everywhere through slavery we must repeat. We must. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. It will be from one end of the earth, even unto the other. Give me verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. God says that he will bring you again into Egypt. How? What, what kind of way? Read that for me. With ships. 
with ships. The most I got will send you back to slavery again by call of slave ship. Right. We went to slavery by call of slave ship. We did. We went to slavery by call of slave ship. Right. That's right. Here. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Hey, Shalom, sister. How you doing? Good. Do you know your nationality according to the Bible? According to him. Okay, let me ask you this. What's your nationality? Guyanese. Guyanese. Um, according to the Bible, even the Guyanese, oh even the Guyanese in Africa are our people. Because that's the last spot that we were we were in before before they transport us here that was the last uh, area that they, they went and took us from so um the reason why a lot of our people end up remaining in in, in uh ghana is because when the law was um uh stopped for for slavery to be ended they couldn't transport any more uh slaves into this side of the land that's how you end up uh, staying in Ghana right. and, and, and end up being called Guyanese. But you are not uh, uh, from, from uh, I mean, you're not, you're not African, okay? Right. You are sons and you are daughters of Israel. Right. All right? Now, uh, I'm going to show you a few curses and you'll see the same thing that we're going through here is the same thing that you have going on in, in Ghana. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. No, she's not you, you right. Go read that for me. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knows his owner. God says the ox knows his owner. You don't? And the ass his master's crib. Now, the Bible is comparing us with two animals. It says the ox knows his owner and the ass his master's crib. Read on. But Israel does not know. But Israel, us Israelite, we don't know. If I were to ask you, where were you before they give you the name Ghana? You would know. That show you that even you, your nationality has changed too. They give you a different uh, ethnicity, a Bring different nationality. Right, right. And the, the Bible doesn't give you that. That's not your name. You are daughters of Sarah. You are Israel. Right. Did you have a question, man? No, not All right. Um, uh, go back to Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show you how some of these curses uh, relate to us. Um, give me verse 37. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment. You, you, you become an astonishment. An astonishment is an amazement. Right. The other nations look at us and they make fun of us because right. of the situation where we fall under. And the, 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 the land of Ghana used to, among, among, one, one, one among a time, they used to be very highly, they, they used to, they know that these people were very highly intellectual. They were not like dumb. As, as today, they claim us like we were uh, uh, monkeys jumping on trees. That's right. Like we know nothing. Right. Not knowing that civilization start with us. We know. A proverb. A proverb. You want to hide something from a black man, put it on writing. Or all blacks are lazy. These are proverbs that they put on us. We know. And a byword. A byword is calling you outside of your true nationality. They call you Guyanese. They call you, what, 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 uh, where would you find yourself in the, in, in the sun? American black. They call you African American. They call you Afro American. They call you blacks. They call you uh, niggas. We have all kind of name under the, that's showing you this book is a real book. That's right. right. And, and, and to show you, but what, what do we need to do now? Knowing that you are Israel, right? Give me uh, First King 8 verse 46. Bring it out. I'm going to show you that. Now, once we know that we are Israel, we got to do something from there. We got for me. First Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. Uh -huh. If they sin against thee. Now, this is King Solomon speaking. He says, if Israel sin against you, we on. For there is no man that sin is not. Because there is no man that didn't sin. We all sin. We on. And thou be angry with them. Uh -huh. And deliver them to the, to the enemy. And deliver us to the en enemies, because God hate, uh, he hate when we fall in sin. Right. And he's mad when we, when we sin against him. We right. Are. So that they carry them away captive uh -huh. unto the land of the enemy. Uh -huh. Far or near. Far or near. That means you, you're closer to Jerusalem than we are. That's right. As opposed to um, 
you brother, you from the tribe of Judah, which is all the way in this side. That's showing far or near, close to Jerusalem, far from Jerusalem. That will be scattered all over because of sin. We don't. Right. right. Yet, if they, be, if they shall bethink themselves. It says, yet, if you remember, if you remember who you are, your true nationality, that's your true repentance. It's by you. Remember who you are first. We are. In the land where the day were carried captive. In the land that you are carried captive. We are in America. You are in Ghana. That's the land of captives. That's not right. your homeland. We are. And repent. And repent. Now that you know I'm an Israelite, I'm not uh, an African American, I'm not a uh, uh, Ghana. Ga Ga I can pronounce it. I'm sorry. Me. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's just telling you that once you know that, then you change. How you change? We. And make supplication unto thee. You make supplication unto the Most High God by saying, now I know I'm not supposed to uh, uh, dress any kind of weight. Right. Now I know I'm not supposed to shave my beard. Now I know I'm supposed to have fringes on my clothes. I'm going to start keeping these laws so God can have mercy upon me. We are. Make supplication unto thee uh -huh. in the land of them that carry them uh -huh. captive, uh -huh. saying, we have sinned. We have sinned against you, we don't. And have done perversely. Uh -huh. We have committed wickedness. How you committed wickedness? Because we've been in sin. And that's the reason why we went to slavery to begin with, is because of sin. Right. And now we know that we are Israel. We know why we went to sin. I mean, we went to slavery because of sin. Now we're going to repent and change our ways. Start, um, uh, look, give me uh, Deuteronomy. 22 per, no, give me Leviticus 19 and 17. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something real quick, sister, before before I let the next teacher come up. I want to show you to show love to our brothers and sisters. We must point out things that they don't know that they're doing wrong. Because this society is wicked. They're not teaching our people how to be righteous. We got right. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother and thine heart. We're not supposed to hate our brothers and sisters in our heart. We don't. Thou shalt in any way rebuke thy neighbor. And we're supposed to correct our neighbors, our brothers and sisters, when we see them they are in sin. We don't. And not suffer sin upon them. And not suffer sin upon them. Now, uh, give me uh, Deuteronomy 20, 25. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not Words that which pertain unto a man. Okay, obviously you're not wearing you're not wearing uh, pins, but this scripture goes to a strange apparel. Okay, it's telling you that a, a, a woman shall not wear that is pertaining unto a man. What do you think that uh, 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 women nowadays wear that pretended unto a man? Hold on, hold on. What what do you think a woman wear that pretended unto a man? Pins. A lot, a lot of women nowadays wear pants. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to you too. After that, I'm gonna have to keep you personally. So that's where you're. That's where you're there. That's where you're there. Yeah. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. A woman's garment is what you see a lot of guys doing today, wearing skirts, you know, all those type of things. We um, uh, give me uh, first thing. Bring it up. Bring it up. Well, to show you, our sisters supposed to dress modestly. How, how, what that mean? You want to preserve yourself for your husband. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you. Read that. First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. That's not for everybody. That's for daughters of Sarah. That's for the, that's for the Israelites. Okay, you're supposed to adorn yourself. In modest apparel, right? Um, a modest apparel goes to like take the 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 the, the, the queens, the queens that they show so called queens of today, the 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 royal. Don't you always see them cover up? Don't you always see them cover up? That's showing you they put themselves modestly, and that's one of the things. The skirt that you have on, sis, it's not modest. That makes it even more. You're supposed to preserve yourself for your husband.
Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.